हेलो रमन वेलकम टू पार्ट 96 सिक्स ऑफ एडवांस ई कॉम सीरीज इन ला रवल एट ओके सो वी हैव सीन दैट वी एबल टू इंटीग्रेट शॉपिंग कार्ड फॉर आवर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट एंड यू हैव सीन दैट वी एबल टू एड प्रोडक्ट्स टू अवर कार्ड ओके इन अजेक्स सो सी यू कैन आल्सो अपडेट दिस फंक्शनैलिटी इन अजेक्स एज वेल and uh, this you can try at your end otherwise i will also add this thing later on uh, okay so if we will click on add to cart uh, this will not go to cart page it will uh, show a message that product has been added in cart okay so such kind of thing we will also do in future videos uh, but right now our focus is to start working on the user reg uh, registration okay that is with the default auth so that we are going to start uh but i uh, want to tell you that in last few videos uh, we able to work on card page we able to uh, do this uh, update card quantity uh, and uh, and remove item okay so uh, here uh, here discounts as well so everything we have done in ajax and uh, we able to finish this part and voucher part will come after the user login register okay uh, so that we are going to do after user login or register and that we are going to start now user login register process okay and we already know that we are having the users table okay and for admin we are uh, having the admin table and in the beginning i have told you that uh, two things we are going to do uh, we are going to work with the multi auth and we have seen the auth guard for the admins now we are going to use the uh, default auth that comes with the laravel uh, okay uh, with the users okay uh, so this thing i have told you in the beginning also uh, i will explain you once again in briefly uh, so that uh, everything is clear to you so uh, see here uh, here for admin panel uh, we have used the uh, guards uh, for ad admin okay for admin and or we can say auth guards okay auth guard auth guard for admin and for for front panel uh, i will just copy this one this font is good enough uh for front okay i am going to use the default auth default auth for users okay see i am going to make it admins as well see in future we are going to create the sub admin functionality sub admin super admin so that for the permissions kind of thing okay so so this one is for the admin panel and for front uh, default auth okay so uh you uh, see we have done this one and you can see in admin controller as well uh, that we able to uh, do this kind of thing uh, you can see um, here uh, research guard. here you can see auth guard okay so this is the main thing auth guard uh, we are using for the guard this is for the multi auth and admin is our guard okay for admin and uh, for uh, for the single auth we are going to use the auth only no guard will be there okay so that we are going to do like uh, in the basic ecom series uh, there is only one auth there is no multi auth there is no guard in basic ecom series that we have done in 5.6 then upgraded to 5.7 then to 5.8 then to 6 okay so now uh, uh, we are uh, we have already done guard for admin and we are going to use default auth for users and there is some other alternative like if you want to use the guard for users as well then then you can do like this one uh, you can do the auth uh, guard uh, for for users as well then what will happen then see here like we are using uh, this one auth guard admin here we are going to use auth guard user so this is the other option we can also do like this but uh, best approach is to use the laravel default auth laravel web auth okay also we call as laravel web auth so uh, see this is the best option that we can use 
the default auth for users okay so uh, in this login register process i will tell you briefly user login register process uh, i am going to make uh, the font like this user login register process so in this process that we are going to start now uh, first thing is uh, like i am going to do now and again uh, no so we can do like this uh no sure okay so uh, i will not use i will just use here okay so first thing is uh, we are going to um bend uh, user login uh, register form design okay register uh, form as well as the design okay this is the first thing that we are going to do uh, i hope that uh, this is clear to you uh, here i am not so good in this thing okay so this is the first thing that we are going to do okay i'm banned user login register now it is fine okay i'm banned user login register form design okay that we are going to create and after that uh, uh, we are going to check uh, 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 we are going to insert uh, user in user table okay user in users table uh if not already exists if if user not already exists okay so we are going to insert the user in users table this is our second step okay so this is our second step that we are going to take okay so the third step is we are going to apply laravel validation to login register form okay apply laravel validations uh for to for user login register form okay we will take first user register form okay we will first uh, finish user register form okay so this is the uh, third step that we are going to do and after that uh, we will send uh, user register mail offline okay we are going to send user register mail offline Okay, this one we are going to do okay and we can also do uh, one more thing uh, we can send uh, user mail offline uh, as well as online after that uh, we can upload the code whatever we have done so far and we can also send email online as well so that uh, you must everyone must uh, aware that how to send email offline as well as online okay so that thing also we are going to do and after that uh, for the first time uh, in this series we have not done in basic ecom series we are going to send the sms as well okay so i will purchase the script especially uh, for uh, here uh, uh, for making the video uh, for integrating the sms api so we are going to uh, work on the sms api send user register sms okay offline as well as online okay and we are going to integrate sms api okay and with curl okay this one you are going to learn new thing for this one this one we are going to do uh in uh, after uh, that uh, email uh, we are going to send sms and this we have not done earlier in basic series series as well we have not done but now we are going to do okay and after that uh, we are going to apply laravel validation for user login form after finishing the register part uh, we are going to uh, add validation for user login form and after 
that we are going to uh, uh, use that auth attempt okay uh, for the login uh, of the user auth attempt uh, to login user okay that we are going to do auth attempt uh, for login user and after that one more thing uh, like uh, add product in user card okay we are going to uh, from session like uh, it will happen like this like if the user added the product in session okay and uh, uh, after that he login or register in both cases we are going to add that product to user card itself okay add product in user card from session uh, uh, when user login or registers okay register okay so these are the steps that we are going to do after that we are going to work on the account pages as well but that thing is later on we are going to do okay so these are the things that we are going to do in user login register process okay and i hope that uh, you are going to uh, learn many new things in all these topics okay so let's start embedding the user log login register form uh, that page we are going to amend uh, from the uh, issue of templates that we have downloaded in the beginning okay in this video we are going to work on that okay so uh, see i am going to uh, close this one and i will open uh, the uh, that template uh, that eShop template i am going to open that eShop template so you can also open that you have downloaded in 51st video of this series and uh, you can uh, open this login.html and this are uh, these two form this page we are going to embed in our e-commerce website okay this is the login form and this is the register form this login form we are going to update as well we will also add the name along with the email address okay and we are going to embed this uh, now uh, to our e-commerce website okay so first of all uh, we are going to create the route uh, we are going to create the login register route and uh, that we are going to create for our front here i'm going to create login register okay and for login register route match get post okay and after that uh, login register yeah we are going to make this url so now see uh, we are going to use the both get and post okay uh, for this route and after that i'm going to create the users controller that we are going to create for our front end and i'm going to name the function name like login register like this okay i'm going to make it like this okay you can see here that we are going like uh, we have done uh, sometime get sometime post for our front end but now we require both get and post okay and uh, we can make it single as well mm, only get as well and for post uh, we can uh use the post method uh, yeah that thing also we can do uh like for uh login register uh okay so one thing we can do here here we can use the get only and what we can do i have an idea here we have different ways to do uh, some particular thing okay so here i can do like this like login register is our page and uh, sorry i can do simple like this and after that uh, this is login register page okay so after that i will create the separate routes for login and register like uh, for the post route okay for the posting data uh, from uh, from login i am going to use like this login then users controller at the rate of uh, login user i can do like this login user and uh, this one is for 
login user route okay and and one route is for the register user okay register user and this one also post route post only and this one is for the register of the user okay so in total login uh, register user so in total I'm going to create uh, the three routes here okay so i think that is uh, much better than creating one route otherwise we need to pass something if you want to do get post here then uh, on posting of the data of for login and register you need to do something else so it is better if we will use the one route uh, for displaying uh, both uh, displaying the login register page okay get route for this one and when you post data like from this uh, form he is going to uh, uh login okay so he is going to see uh, he is going to sorry he is going to login from here then uh, then the form action will be form action will be this one this one will be the form action okay login okay so this one will be the form action and he will reach uh, to this function login register function with the posted data and posted data will be email and password we are going to verify the email and password here okay so post method is good enough for uh, for the uh, for login form okay and in the same way uh, this is the register form and we will also add name and uh, now the post action once again will come into play and for posting and this is the register action we are going to uh, give this register url as action here and whenever user will uh, post name and email address and create your account click on create your account that name and email uh, will go here as post and it will go to register user function and uh, there we are going to uh, save that user in our table use users table we are going to insert in users table after checking that the user or not already exist okay so uh, these two uh, uh, routes will come into play for posting okay for posting data or for verifying data in login as far as the login is concerned okay so this one is just for the get route login register just to display the page here okay so i hope that this is clear to you now i'm going to uh, see okay user controller does not exist so far so i'm going to create the user controller here uh, in our project okay this is my project ecom and i'm going to right click services new terminal add folder okay so here i am going to run that uh, that command artisan command uh, for creating the controller file like we always used to do php artisan uh, make controller and in controller see front in front i am going to create the controller app http see here controllers and here are two folders admin and front we are going to create in front okay so in front i am going to create uh, uh, inside front uh, see here front after that uh, i'm going to uh, give here the name users controller okay users controller like this so now you can see the users controller has been created here it has come back here okay it's come here so i can open the user controller now yes it has uh, now no function so far i am going to create the login register function now public function login register okay so now uh, i am going to return view uh, here in front folder uh, under users i am going to create the users folder as well and under users i am going to create this file login underscore register in which oh, i am going to show that the login register page okay so i am going to create these files so i am going back here and resources inside sources views inside views front in front i am going to create one uh, folder here 
in uh, in mac i can create like this touch users but if you are in windows you can simply right click and create folder see uh, sorry users so okay sorry uh, here i not required the file here i can create the folder users okay like this and inside users here i want to here i will run that command uh, services new terminal at folder touch uh, here uh, i'm going to create that file login underscore register dot blade dot php okay so this is the file that i have created a uh, touch login underscore register dot blade dot php okay mm, so i can check uh, here the file has been created in windows you can simply right click and create the file and now i can open this file here login underscore register dot blade dot php file so i'm going to add the uh, front design to it layouts uh, front layout and uh, then again front layout uh, we have the blade file this is the blade file and this is the front layout folder okay uh, so this we can uh, extend here and after that we can add section content and this content uh, here and section and here i'm going to add that uh, uh, page okay uh, from login.html i'm going to pick data from here login.html so i will search that uh, particular block uh, see here div sidebar see okay so this is the part that i am going to add here uh, div here all, yeah all like this okay so here uh, here i'm going to add this uh, complete data i'm going to add like this this is the data okay so i'm going to add uh, here in our uh, login distributed file okay here we can add it and uh, we can uh, format it uh, here also there is one command beautiful html okay now in uh, the format will look uh, good uh, yeah fine so now we can check that whether um, this login register page runs or not so i can run this page login hyphen register and you can see our login register page is ready okay you can see here our login register page is ready also you can add uh, one name field here i think i will just uh, simply copy paste this one and we'll add here name and uh, here i will add name here we can also give input uh, name. okay you can give zero if you want same so now see here okay so enter your uh, name and email address to create an account okay so i hope that uh, this is clear to you uh, we able to okay so uh, we are having now login form uh, see the sign up form create your account is the sign up form here the user will give his name and email address to create his account in our e-commerce website and here also you can give login hyph uh, slash register like this okay okay so you can give it like this okay so login register so 
here you can uh, user can create his account uh, and from here user can uh, log in to his account okay so um, we are going to work uh, first on registering user in next video uh, we are going to uh, register the user we are going to uh, insert the user into our user table and this is the user table that i am telling you that name email password password uh, okay so password we are going to uh, user is going to select the password as well okay so not only email address we will also add one more field here okay name email as well as password okay so uh, user uh, will fill his password as well we will write it here uh, choose password choose password okay or password uh, that we are going to update in uh, next video i'm going to see what is the better option what wording and what things we are going to check okay so input password okay so we can check other website that uh, what the other website like if i will uh, uh, open the gmail account uh, or some other i uh, will open the yahoo account okay what other website use or uh, mm, uh, not only if uh, this one okay so let's see once what other web website use uh, password only okay here is the password field only and if i will check some other website like amazon.in and if i will try to create account in amazon uh, see password okay so uh, only the password is fine enough uh, okay so uh, this form looks fine this is a name mobile email password and uh, yeah name email address and uh, we can also give mobile as uh, we can send the register sms to the user so one more field we can add here uh, name then mobile okay then mobile is the other option uh, and we can make it optional as well okay name mobile input mobile uh, okay so we can also give the simple mobile itself okay so in next video maybe i am going to update these fields as well so uh, stay tuned for the next video in which i am going to think that what is the best option for us okay so name mobile email address and password name mobile email and password okay so it is same like this one so uh, for register we have added this option and there is one more form they have given if you want to use this register.html then see here this but we are not going to give this big form otherwise the user will get bored user will not register if you will give so much big form and we are going, going to give only the required fields okay name mobile email and password are, are enough okay to register the account and user can fill his address uh, while placing the order otherwise that is not required in the beginning okay so uh, stay tuned for the next video we are going to continue uh, working on this uh, register process and going to register the user in next video so stay tuned for that okay then uh, that's all for now have a nice time goodbye